It was really quite extraordinary. I remember everything. The colors, the smells, the people. I'm on a bus with a whole bunch of um, <laughs> international people. Everybody's from everywhere, and um, well, where are you gonna? Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna go find out just where people are from. And the festival proper, and there's over a hundred artists and companies in the art festival. There were rumors that there are something like between two and three hundred different companies here. You can't see everything. It's only four days long, and there is stuff all over town. So we're gonna have a look and uh, see what's out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just switch the red button on. Yeah. The Lommel Street Theatre Festival in Belgium is perhaps one of the best examples of a fully integrated outdoor theatre festival. This biennial event employs between 35 and 40 international artists and groups for a single day. This performance is taking place on a terrace isolated from the main action of the street and has approximately 1,000 people in attendance. The scaffold seating erected specifically for this event can accommodate 400 people. While this show continues, there are four other performances in progress at the same time in other locations. Each of the other shows has about the same size audience, which means that there are close to 5,000 people sitting stationary. In addition to these numbers, there are also about 3,000 people moving about the Central Festival precinct, taking in the other styles of performance on offer. The secret to the success of this kind of festival lies in the design and programming of the event. In this model, the larger scale shows have been positioned on the outer edges of the precinct. The public then make their way from one to the other by way of the Central Festival pathway, which is populated with all manner of roving artists and installations, such as this traditional organ grinder. There are numerous advantages to positioning the main activities in the center of town. At the most fundamental level, the performances are given a more intimate and ornate playing space. A confined playing space helps to create a sense of excitement and, in some cases, makes getting a seat for the show more of a priority because, believe it or not, seating at an outdoor show can be limited. Perhaps the primary reason for placing the event in the center of town is that it allows the local bars, restaurants and shops to get in on the act and benefit from the massive increase in street traffic. The event in Lommel has proven so successful that other similarly styled events have sprouted up all over the country and can be found in the towns of Mainen, Balen, Chasse-Pierre, Liège and Ghent, just to name a few. For a country of 10 million people, that's not a bad turnout. It's Leo Bassi. He's like a famous street performer guy. I think he's talking about something important. The Glastonbury Festival is 27 years old and takes place in June in a large paddock in southern England. This event attracts over 150,000 people who all come to camp and watch shows for four days. Paddocks can be difficult spaces to play simply because of their size. It is important when scheduling a festival in a wide open space to break it up as much as possible by installing tents, vehicles or large stationary art exhibits. Playing a large space requires an exceptional amount of energy on the part of the performer because of the number of distractions that such a space can provide. The Rotterdam Straat Theater Festival is over 10 years old. 
Unlike Lommel and Glastonbury, this festival focuses predominantly on solo, duo and trio acts, providing a jam-packed three-day program of over 30 artists and groups. The festival installs close to 20 stages in both the center of the city and the central festival square. Festival Square features food and drink areas as well as numerous performance podiums that can accommodate upwards of 1,000 people and are fitted with lighting for night shows. You are rocking on yourself. Learn, sink here, I sink. Now learn, sink here, I sink. Now, now learn, sink here, I sink. You are rocking on yourself. The Rotterdam event has an international reputation for providing the highest level of artist support. As part of the Festival Square installation, a large and secure dressing and equipment storage area is provided, as well as a large number of volunteers to assist the artists in moving their equipment to the various stages. Providing this level of backstage support increases the overall commitment of the artist to the event and results in a higher caliber of performance. Good evening. Another highlight of the Rotterdam Festival is the artist hospitality. Festivals must often pay artists less than standard fees so that they can get the maximum number of shows for their event. The silver service catering put on by the organization committee is a huge draw card for the talent, who will forgive a reduced pay packet if the food and hospitality are first rate. Oh well, yes, but what if you get out of that groove? Oh, well, then I'm in trouble. The Gerlitz International Street Theatre Festival in Germany is six years old, but came into existence through its 18-year-old parent festival based in Helenia Gora, Poland. The Helenia Gora Festival set a new precedent in festival organization by including communities up to 200 kilometers away from the central festival precinct. The result is a magnificent two-week event which takes place in over 40 towns and villages in the region. The event in Gerlitz became so successful as a local event that it now rivals its parent festival in size and budget. The range of artistry it presents is magnificent, blending avant-garde and experimental theatre, such as this performance by Krakow's Theatre KTO, with the comedy and frivolity of the pickpockets by companies such as Accident out of Belgium. Helenia Gora 
and Gerlitz now utilize over 200 artists and groups each to put on their respective events. I'm uh, sitting in a place which is uh, probably best described as the artist village. Uh, these, these bleachers here aren't actually going to be used during the festival. But the festival here at the Val Reyes is the first of its kind. It's the first street theater festival to occur in this small town. There's only about 10,000 people here and um, they've never seen anything like this before and they're going to be introduced to a wide variety of different kinds of uh, street theater performances and um, they're going to take this city, this beautiful old city, probably a thousand years old, and transform it into, uh, well, mayhem. <laughs> Well, we're into the last day of the festival, and um, as you can see, there's been a, a, a lot of different kinds of performances, particularly the one that's most unique is this theater of chase, which seems to happen in Europe. They, uh, the audience follows the shows through the streets, which is something that I haven't seen anywhere else in the world except here in Europe, particularly in France. Chalon-sur-Marne, uh, which is where we'll head um, uh, on Wednesday. It's day five, and boy, I'm having fun. Chalon dans la Rue is the penultimate destination for any street theater practitioner, be it performer or organizer. This three-day festival in the center of France is more of a showcase event and is the festival that every artist wants to be seen at or where organizers go to see what new and exciting talent is on offer. Over 300 artists and groups descend on this tiny village to experience shows in the parks and on the streets of the entire village. The town center has so many shows that it is impossible to move more than five meters without running into yet another act. Over 15,000 people descend on this tiny town in three days. The key feature of this event is the contact room, a special non-public area where artists and festival organizers from around the world can meet, make deals and share information.
times in my life. I have totally lost track of the video recorder because I've just been so engrossed uh, in what's happening around me. And I wish I had somebody with a camera who was like behind me. But we'll pick this up again in Krakow as the global street safari continues. <laughs>